It's a story of the USS Liberty that some of you may remember in 1967 was attacked by the Israeli Navy, torpedo boats, aircraft, suffered the casualties of over 190 young sailors in a ship that was literally unarmed. It was a surveillance ship off the Egyptian and Israeli coast in the 1967 war. Israeli planes machine gunned it, uh, torpedoed it, torpedo boats, and when they lowered lifeboats, machine gunned the lifeboats. The intent was that there would be no survivors. The ship did survive, limp back to port. The story was covered up. Lyndon Johnson had ordered airplanes to support it. When he learned that it was an Israeli attack, the airplanes were withdrawn. The U.S. Navy covered up the story for many years, dispersed the crews, told them that they weren't to discuss it. And you can imagine this crew in 1967 having suffered probably more casualties than any naval engagement since the battle off Guadalcanal of the Savo Islands. And they were devastated by the fact that nobody recognized them. And one day, a uh, little town up in Wisconsin called Grafton, a town north of Milwaukee, 20,000 people, they were conducting what is fairly rare in America. They wanted to have more libraries. Unlike uh, turning away and closing libraries, the city of Grafton determined that they would have a library. And they put out a fundraising effort. And they brought in a professional that told them that if you're going to raise $3 million for a library, you've got to find somebody that will give half a million dollars. And then you get so many gifts at 100,000 and so many at 10,000, and you raise the money like that. You've probably all been involved in that kind of campaign for the YMCA or something in your own community. And so they said, well, how do we get this half a million dollars? Well, there were two old men that had come over to this country in the early part of this century. They'd founded a machine tool shop uh, that had become successful. And all during the Depression years, the Grove Brothers, G-R-O-B, the Grove Brothers, uh, did two things. They read Spotlight every week. And they also, whenever the town or the community needed money, they would give the money. The Little League baseball team, uh, nursing, new wing in the hospital. The Grove Brothers were the heart and soul of the town of Grafton, Wisconsin. Well, they got Mr. Grove, one of the Groves, says, we'll pledge the half million dollars. And they went to him and they said, well, Mr. Grove, do you want to call this new library the Theodore Grove Memorial Library? And he said, no. He'd been reading in Spotlight about the USS Liberty and the injustice. He said, I want to name it the USS Liberty Memorial Library. It caused an international sensation. They had just dedicated the Golda Meir Library in Milwaukee. The entire Jewish community rose up and said, we can't have a USS Liberty. They accused him of anti-Semitism, the Milwaukee Journal. But they had an ex-Navy CPO that was the mayor of the town, and they stuck to their guns. And sooner, they finally dedicated the USS Liberty Memorial Library, and the surviving crew members came, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. It was a memorial that had the names of the 34 dead on that memorial. And they had six old men that fired the salute with the old Springfield rifle. They had a band, and everybody was just overjoyed. But in the meantime, the press was referring to them as this anti-Semitic town. Well, that night, I was invited to dinner with Mr. Grobe, who, by reading of his spotlight, had to caused this crew to come from all over the United States, restored their faith, a little like the Vietnam War Memorial did for the Vietnam veterans. And sitting across from Mr. Grobe, uh, he said, McCluskey, I've read your record in the spotlight over the years. You're right on this issue, but you're a damn liberal. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been good friends ever since. <laughs> so when a voice speaks the truth, it can lead to great things. And the spotlight, no matter how many times over the years they've called me a liberal or disagreed with me on believing in the United Nations or one of those liberal positions, I have never ceased to thank them for what they did for the surviving 60 or 70 members of the Liberty, which take their faith from that dedication at the little town of Grafton, which never would have happened but for spotlight. So, <laughs> that's